Good morning guys, so it's a Saturday morning, it is quarter past nine and I'm dressed for a funeral as you can see, that's because we have a funeral taking place in a short while on a Saturday morning, what can you do, um, I'm on call again this weekend, um, not my usual weekend to be on call but uh, I'm covering for a work colleague because uh, they're on holiday at the moment so I've stepped in to, to help them out with their on-call which is fine. Bit of a busy day today, we've got the funeral uh, this morning and then we have a, uh, a chapel visit later on in the day and then I have to dash off to look at a new house because uh, potentially uh, buying a new house in, in the next kind of few months uh, or maybe even a year or so depends on how things go today so a bit of a full-on day today um, so I'll keep you posted um, and we'll chat to you soon hello again right we're in the car on the way to the crematorium for this morning's uh, funeral so it's not very often that we actually De um, do a funeral on on a Saturday, um, but every once in a while they do uh, they do crop up and we have to carry them out. Um, let me just tell you a little bit how the funeral service system works over here in in the UK because I know it's different over in some parts of America and different parts of the world um, where you don't have kind of a formal service beforehand you know some people you know have the cremation first or the burial first and then a, a service and you know some uh, countries hold everything at the at the funeral home the way it works over here is usually we will have a service beforehand so the deceased will be uh, resting at the at the funeral home and then on the morning or the afternoon of their funeral, they'll be taken to either a church um, for the service, or they'll have the service at the at the crematorium or the cemetery, followed by a committal. So if it's a church service, the deceased will go in a hearse from the funeral home to um, the church, and they'll have the, the service there, which usually lasts between an hour, hour and a half, depending on, you know, how big the actual funeral service is. Um, Roman Catholic services tend to go on that little bit longer because of obviously the, the rituals involved in um, a Catholic funeral. It was your kind of your normal kind of Anglican or Church of England funeral could last between about half an hour and 45 minutes. Again, it just depends on, you know, how big the, the funeral is. So after the service is over, the hearse will then take the deceased and the family, if there, there's a lot of family traveling, will supply a, a limousine to either a cemetery or a crematorium for the committal. And that is just basically a very short service, usually about 10, 15 minutes long, where the minister or the celebrant or whoever is uh, officiating at the at the service will, you know, commit the body to be either cremated or buried, and then that's it. The, the funeral service is over. Then the, the hearse goes away, and then the funeral director will take the family back to to the wake, um, wherever that may be. So that's kind of how the the whole funeral kind of system or service system works uh, over here now obviously it, each family are different um, there are some funeral homes that will host funeral services in their in their chapels which is absolutely fine um, I know over the, the years I've done that in the funeral homes that I've worked in uh, there was one particular funeral home where we had quite a big chapel that opened up into an even bigger chapel so you could have uh, services there and we did hold uh, a couple of 
services there. One of them actually was a, a Russian Orthodox service, which was quite unique. Um, where I was working, there was no Russian Orthodox church nearby. So the priest came to the funeral home and did the whole service at the funeral home. And it was really, really interesting. And then obviously the, the deceased went off to the, to the crematorium afterwards for the for the committal but I would say 90 95% of funerals in this country happen the way I've explained it if you don't have a church service you can have the entire funeral service at either a cemetery or a, a crematorium um, you know that they've both got chapels there um, most cemeteries are quite old cemeteries in in this country anyway so they've got old victorian chapels burial chapels uh, so you can have a service there and then go off to the to the committal in the cemetery afterwards or alternatively as i said the the crematorium they also have chapels where you can have the service there and then obviously nobody has to go anywhere then because it's all done in one place so that's how, that's how it all works uh, over here, as I say, I know it's different, especially in, in the United States, on how they, how they do things, and it's really interesting to know actually how other uh, cultures do uh, funerals, it's, uh, it really is quite interesting. Right, so I'm nearly at the crematorium now, um, obviously you can appreciate I can't actually film in the crematorium because um, it's just not the done thing. So I will speak to you soon when I'm back in the car when the funeral is over and done with. And uh, I'll chat to you in a little while. Hello again. So that's the funeral done, short and sweet, which is uh, which is great for a, a Saturday uh, Saturday morning. That's what we like. Um, yeah, so on the way to the funeral home now because obviously there's a family wanting to pay their last respects to their loved one, so go and sort that out, make sure that everything is, is set up and the person is looking their best so the family can say their, their last goodbyes. Uh, yeah, that's it really. I think this is going to be quite a very short um, video today. Uh, yeah. See you soon. Hello again. Right, that's the the viewing all done and dusted, which is good. Um, so now I can go and try and enjoy the rest of my day. But uh, as I say, I'm on call again, so can't relax too much. But uh, I do have to nip out and uh, look at houses a little bit later on, so that should be fun. But it'll be sod's law that the phone goes as soon as I'm about to go out, but there you go, that's life. So let's just do a quick explanation of the, the viewing kind of system that we have um, over here because again I, I know in in other countries especially in some parts of America um, it's it's quite different when you have a, a viewing at a funeral home you also have a a, a service of, of some description um, obviously correct me if I'm wrong but that's how I'm led to believe it anyway um, it doesn't quite work like that over here uh, when you book a, a funeral when you go to a funeral home uh, the funeral arranger or the funeral director will ask you uh, whether you want to come to the chapel arrest to pay your last respects if you say yes then obviously the funeral home will need to make the necessary preparations for that to happen so obviously they'll need to um, make a, a coffin or a casket uh, and obviously prepare 
the deceased accordingly. Uh, sometimes that may include embalming uh, and sometimes it may not. It just completely depends on how the, the funeral home operates. Um, embalming in this country is not a legal requirement at all except if the person is being shipped abroad so repatriated abroad um, and even then um, I don't think it is a legal requirement as such um, it's just an airline requirement again I, I might be wrong because when, when I was at college um, actually training to be an embalmer we were always taught that the, the law was if any person was to go abroad um, then they would have to by law be embalmed or well, quite recently I was speaking to somebody who was an embalmer and he informs me that it's not a requirement in law it's just a requirement in the in the airline policy so I really don't know what to, to say about that and I'm not a lawyer so I can't say for definite but anyway that, that's besides the point embalming is not required um, to be carried out in a funeral home by law anyway in this country you are completely within your rights um, to pay your last respects to your loved one and not have them embalmed so there we go so anyway the, the deceased is is prepared and then laid out in the in the chapel and then the funeral ranger or the funeral director will ring the family up and say mum dad or whoever is now ready um, in the chapel you can come and see them and then the family will obviously make an appointment to come to the funeral home to pay their last respects um, and that's it really there's no actual service involved in that it is basically um, they just come along and um, do what they have to do in the chapel say their last goodbyes and then um, and then that's it it's, a, it's as simple as that really um, sorry I'm just trying to find a parking space again Saturday afternoon is an absolute nightmare around here for parking and it looks like my father-in-law has just pinched my parking space oh, there we go right anyway so the the viewings happen as they happen family comes in they go into the chapel um do whatever they they have to do and then they come out again now they they may say um to the to the funeral director um or the funeral ranger or whoever is in the funeral home at that time you know we wish to come back again tomorrow or the next day or, or whatever and you know then the, the deceased is then left in the chapel um for for the next for the next viewing and it really is is as simple as that really um yeah so so that's the the, the viewing process and People who come to the chapel, you know, can spend as much or as little time as possible or, you know, as they want in there. There's no set time limit. We don't say to people, yes, you can come in at one o'clock, but you've got to be done by ten past one. It doesn't work like that. When people come to the chapel, we say to them, you know, you take as much time as you need. We don't rush them. We don't try and hurry them out the door. We don't. We don't give them any restrictions at all. It's their time to spend with their loved one, um, because of course this is the, the the last time, possibly that they're going to see them. So we want to allow the families as much time as as they need. So that that's how it works, really. But you know, each funeral home is different. Some funeral homes. Um, you know operate differently because of the size of the, the funeral home and and staff and, and things like that it just really does depend on on how the the individual funeral home 
operates. So, yeah, that's that. Right, I've managed to park up. I managed to find the space anyway. Not where I want, but beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Just gotta try and park where you can. Around here on a Saturday. Right. Let's go and get out of this really warm uniform. That's the trouble. When it's weather like this and it's absolutely boiling hot outside and you're wearing black, it's unbearable sometimes. So it uh, might be time to change it to something a little bit more comfortable. See you soon. Hello again, guys. So um, today is Sunday. Saturday is been and gone. Uh, yesterday, what did we do yesterday? Well, I was about the funeral in the morning. Then we had the, the chapel visit uh, in the kind of early afternoon. Then when look round houses, um, possible houses to buy. And then that was it really. Uh, I was on call again, so I couldn't really do anything or go anywhere. As obviously we've explained in um, previous uh, videos. Uh, and I wasn't called out, so that's always a good thing. Um, so nothing really, really much has has happened since we since we last spoke uh, yesterday. Um, yeah, I couldn't really film around the 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 show homes because um, it was just a bit awkward, really. Because obviously you've got you know somebody showing you about and talking and and things like that, and kind of videoing and talking at the same time is a little bit a little bit awkward so that's why I didn't film any of that really um plus it wasn't really that interesting is the honest answer some really nice houses and obviously um plenty of food for thought on that score definitely something to work towards anyway uh, probably in the next couple of years so yeah that's it that that's another saturday vlog over and done with i'm just sorting out a few things now and trying to clear out a few things and um yeah just try and make some room basically because if we do get um a new house we're gonna have to um kind of make room for for new things so uh that's something to take you care of um yeah, that's what I spent most of today doing anyway. So it's back to work tomorrow. Uh, full week this week. So Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. Doing what I do best. Or what I enjoy doing best anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, speak to you in the week. I've got a couple of good videos lined up for the uh, Confessions of an Undertaker funeral series. Um, so stay tuned for them and I'll keep you posted thanks for tuning in don't forget to subscribe um, to the channel and turn on any notifications as well because I you know, try and update the, the channel at least twice a week uh, and don't forget you can follow me on the blog as well which is confessionsofanundertaker.co.uk and if you type it in Facebook and Twitter as well you'll be able to find me there and follow me there as well as Instagram. So quite a lot going on with social media. So anyway, thanks for your time. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.